Oh, wait. Wrong button. <laughs> uh, hi, Katie. How are you? Hi, Amber. We're coming off episode five. We had the surprising encounter with Madeline. I remember you talking about uh, the nuns having something called a particular friend before. Would Madeline consider uh, Lori her particular friend? I mean, maybe a potential particular friend. It seems like she's definitely yeah. interested in going in that direction. Incredible, the energy. Yeah, it must seem just be so great for them to have someone who they feel like they can connect to after being in that isolating situation. Is there any truth, uh, like like not every nun is lesbian, but like a high percentage? So, yeah, I was really surprised by how valid that stereotype seems. <laughs> really? There was a, a research study that 21% of them said that they had been actively homosexual Whoa. while they were in, in the clergy. Traditionally, in women's lives, there wasn't a lot of options. Like, what's your life? You're, you're going to get married, have kids. Like, so if you just can't see yourself doing that for any reason and this is a good other option where you still get to have be respected by your family and you get to live a life more more aligned with your personality yeah i think that's that that brought a lot of lesbians to the the sisterhood but also i mean just outsiders in general how do you research i can't imagine you went to google and was like Find all the lesbian nuns of all time. And then you got a, a definitive list that has been fact-checked and, you know. Um, there, is, there is a list. I'm making it. Oh, there you go. Exactly. So it just takes all of my research for this project just takes so much time. And it's not like any, any brilliance on my part. It's just a compulsion to look through <laughs> every newspaper in the last hundred years right. of Toledo's life. Or every sen in every census record of the convent. And I mean, it's just a lot of looking and looking. And, and you have to kind of be alert for, like, clues. Right. And the language that they might have used to talk about um, lesbians in kind of a, a not stated, but everyone knows what we're saying way. Right. Um, and just looking for little pieces of people's lives and following them. Um, so what are you researching now? Uh, anything exciting? Kind of give us a scoop. So um, I've been researching for a long time, actually, to get ready for our next ghost hunt, which is at the Ohio State Reformatory. So the Ohio State Reformatory is in Mansfield, Ohio. It's this gigantic castle of a building, a big stone building. And it was designed to house young, youthful offenders. And, and I've been looking through all of the records to find boys who were sent there for sodomy charges. Um, so sodomy legally at the time was a pretty broad crime under the law, but it, how it was used was to persecute homosexual men. We have a lot to investigate. Yeah. There's a lot of people to talk to. Yeah. So Katie, thank you so much for doing this. I imagine our viewers will enjoy this little tidbit. Well, I hope so. It's, it's so interesting to me. Why not be interesting to other people? I don't know.